there are different levels of Kedusha in the Gemara and the Postkim they talk about Guf HaKedusha something which is inherently Kadosh i.e. Stam Sefer Torah Tfilin Mezuzis as they say Stam Ayid that every Jew is like a walking Sefer Torah but a Sefer Torah Tfilin Mezuzis that's Guf HaKedusha and then there's a second level Tashmishe Kedusha things that serve the Kedusha the Kadosh i.e. let's say a mantle on a Sefer Torah so it t- it comes in contact and it protects the Torah and the third level Tashmish to Tashmish it doesn't actually um, protect it a, it's a, doesn't actually come in contact with the Torah itself, with the Kedush itself it's a little removed from it the Tashmish the Tashmish or a, sub, or a similar halacha perhaps in some ways Tashmish a mitzvah something which is used it's for a mitzvah a lulav an esrog or different types of mitzvah articles so the Gemara tells us in Megillah, the difference between Tashmishe Kedusha and Tashmishe Mitzvah. Tashmishe Kedusha Nikvarim has to be buried. Tashmishe Mitzvah Nizrakim, something that's used for a mitzvah purpose, or we'll see a Tashmish a Tashmish, is only is Nizrakim can be thrown out. Of course, as the Chuba Sarashba points out, it should be, be it should be done dera kavla, not just thrown out, period, but put in a proper bag and then thrown out. So the different levels there's there's the actually in the Herin kedusha the seva torah tefillah is this, this, and then there's tashmishe kedusha and tashmishe mitzvah that tashmishe kedusha have to be buried, tashmishe mitzvah have to be not have to be can be thrown out. So in fact, it's an interesting uh, discussion. What's about the status of our tefillin zeko, our tefillin bag? What's this? In other words, is it a tashmishe kedusha, or is it a tashmish the tashmish? In other words, what happens when it gets ripped and it's no good? Can I throw it out, or does it have to be buried? That seems to be a machokis rishonim, Rashi and Tosfos, in terms of whether it's a label that tashmishe kedusha. Now, what's the issue? Or, so, because on our tefillin, on the ritzuas, we have different letters. So, some point out that the letters itself, on the ritzuas or on the batim, are considered guf kedusha. They spell out the name Hashem, other things. So since the letters are labeled Gufa Kedusha, that means the Tzolomberg is labeled Tashmishe Kedusha. And other Rishonim point out, I think the Bali Tosis, that no, only the cloth inside is considered Tashmishe Kedusha. The Bata and the Ritzuas, even the letters, are only considered Tashmishe you know, they're not considered Tashmishe Kedusha, they're only, tashmi, they're only Tashmishe Kedusha because they're housing the club. And therefore, the Tzvillin Be'ag would be a Tashmish the Tashmish, would be once removed, it's only serving the Tashmishe Kedusha, and therefore, Nizrakim. So, how do, so, how do we, we Paskin? So, we are machmer fashitas rashi that we don't throw out tefillin bags, we bury them when necessary. Another interesting uh, application would be our mezuzah. The mezuzah itself is clearly a guf kedusha. So the irony is, it could be discussed, that you could people have expensive mezuzah covers. They don't have to have one, but it could range from, I don't know, $10 to couple of thousand dollars, probably more. 
So, however, the Mezizah the cover usually doesn't come in direct contact with the Mezizah because it's the 30 cent saran wrap that's usually wrapped up in. So, according to everybody, the saran wrap should have a din of Tashmishe Kedusha, and that would be Nigvarin. What about the Mezizah? So, that perhaps, it's, at first glance, it seems to be a Tashmish to Tashmish, and then perhaps. It wouldn't have to be able to see we could um it could still potentially be viewed as a Tashmishe Kedusha. So in fact that's the Gemara in Megillah. The Gemara in Megillah labels an Aron Kodesh Tashmishe Kedusha because it houses the Sefer Torah. So at first glance that makes a lot of sense. However, under further inspection, the Torahs are usually covered up. They have their own safe, their, their own mantelach. So actually, the Torah itself is never touching the Aaron Kodesh. So the Aaron Kodesh should only be a Tashmish, a Tashmish. It's housing the mantel. So why is it then that the Gemara calls it Tashmish Kedusha? So it's an interesting carbon Nisanel. The principle's true. Well, halacha, we don't paskin like the carbon Nisanel. But the Karban Nisanel suggests that times have changed. Principles don't change. The Torah was given to Moshe Rabbeinu. Does Jewish law change? So if you mean the principles given to Moshe, no. But if you take the same principle and apply it to a different situation, you'll end up with a different result. So hence they point out that Bizman HaGemara people were afflicted with poverty, we don't live in affluent North America. So people have every Sefer Torah has its own cover. But with Zman HaGemara, the Sefer Torahs will put in Aram, will put in so to speak naked, with nothing on. You had a bunch of Sefer Torah, and before you took it out, whichever one you were going to read that day, you put on a cover. So. He says, Bismarck HaGemara, the reason why the Gemara labels it a Tashmishe Kedusha, because Bismarck HaGemara, the Sefer Torah itself, actually touched the Aaron Kodesh. But Bismarck HaZeh, that we all have our own Sifre, our own Sefer Torah covers, so the Aaron Kodesh would no longer be a Tashmishe Kedusha, would only be a Tashmish to Tashmish. And then in theory, one could be Nizrakin. Instead of the Gvara, one could wouldn't be able to throw it out and not bury, which would be a which is a big thing, a big issue. It's a big thing to bury. However, so that's what the carbon Nisano points out. So in principle, we agree with the qual of the carbon Nisano. We just dis- disagree with the we or meaning the po- other posts can disagree and say no. It's still considered Tashmishe Kedusha. I, how is it Tashmishe Kedusha? Based on the principles we're aware of, it does not come in direct contact to the Sefer Torah. So how could it be? If someone say maybe the I'd say the the wooden handles touch it. Well, many point out this carpet in there, so it's not even touching it. So what many um, posts can bring down is another type of Tashmishe Kedusha. One definition is if it comes in direct contact with the uh, Kedusha. And the other definition is if it's done solely for covered Sefer Torah. If it's done for the sake of the glory of the Sefer Torah. So the reason why we have an Aaron Kodesh is to give it chashivas and to beautify the Sefer Torah, so to speak. It's covered, it's covered Sefer Torah. So something done like the, kind of like the silver you put on top and those things as well might have a status of Tashmishe Kedusha because it's done well, covered with Sefaras. It's done to honor the Sefer Torah. Others point out that that's true by the, by the silver and the other things they put on the Sefer Torah, but it's not but the Sefer Torah isn't just for Wukavad, it is true, but it's also for Shmira. So that's the discussion, exactly how they work it out. The bottom line is, whatever reason you're going to give, the post 
all agree with Zman Hazer that an Aaron Kodesh has a status of Tashmishe Kedusha and and not a Tashmish a Tashmish and based on the Gemara and Megillah and the Gvarim. therefore Tashmishe Kedusha have to be buried so we, so we said there are different levels it's Gufa Kedusha that has to be buried Tashmishe Kedusha has to be buried and Tashmishe Mitzvah but the Gemara never really explained what's behind it why did something what makes the level of Kedusha or Tashmishe Kedusha and what and what makes Tashmishe Mitzvah? So we'll have to go into this later, but just to um, mention it briefly now, the piece uh, from Rechayim Velazhin, Rechayim Velazhin points out, and others, that it's safer, it's, it's the Torah, words of Torah, that gives something Kedusha, i.e. Sefer Torah, Tefillin, Mezuzus. So it's the Torah that creates the Kedusha. In fact, that's why Rav Chaim the legend explains the Allah of Kfura. We know there's a Chi of Kfura, Kava Tik Pareno by Yomahu. There's a Chi of Kfura on a Yid. However, on a guy, Pashas is no Chi of Kfura. It doesn't mean you can't do Kfura. But al pi halacha, there's no din where they have to be buried. So therefore, naf kamina, cremation, other things for goyim is okay. But what's the what's the reason why a Jew is chayiv in kvura but not a guy? Is it it's so Rav Chaim learns it's not because they have seven mitzvahs bnei noach and we have six hundred and thirteen. It's not just based on doing mitzvahs, but it's something more fundamental. It's on our key of Talmud Torah and our learning Torah. In fact, that's why um, he explains the famous um, Chazal, the Gemara Nida, that before someone is born, a Malach Hashem teaches him Kol Torah Kulo, or teaches her Kol Torah Kulo. In fact, that's the famous Kasha the Beltet. If a Malach Hashem is teaching the babies in the womb Kol Torah Kulo, so why is it that when Rivka by Yitzroch Zuh HaBanim Bekirba that Yaakov tried to get out and go to the base of Medrash. So the belt is over because with a Chavrusa like Esav you want out of there. No matter how good the shear is but if you don't have a lousy Chavrusa you got to find a new shear. So you're, you're, and you're influenced by your environment. So they point out that Chazal tell us, and why? What's the reason? If if the moment you go out, or before the moment before you go out, the malak is your little patch, and you forget it. Also, what's the point? The point is that the money shows every Jew has the potential for Talmud Torah. In fact, that's so. Um, I think that the Taz writes uh, uh, different reasons for a Shalom Zachar, and one is kind of like a Nicha Mavelim that we're being we, we we once knew all the Torah. And now we forgot it all. So someone point that's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. That now we have the we all have the potential. And now that we we're gonna be excited now to go in and start learning the Torah. But either way, as he points out here of Chayim Velajan, that's why the Khiyab of a Jew to be to Kfura because a Jew has Talmud Torah, has could that's Kufa Kedusha, but anything which doesn't have Torah related to it, it doesn't have a din of Kedusha. And that's how um, he explains why Tashmishe Kedusha Nikvarim, Tashmishe Mitzvah Nizrakim. Of course, we'll have to explain exactly how we have other Kedushas that don't seem to be related to Torah. We know this Kedusha is Hamikdash. This Kedusha's Eretz Yisrael. So we'll have to continue. Rav Salvechik had a whole long um, yard site here developing this concept, explaining where the Kedusha is for the Kedusha's Mishka and the Mikdash and um, Eretz Yisrael.